And whatever I decide to do, I'm going to be faithful in it. And read 1 Corinthians 15, 58. This is what got me over the hump when I was sort of wondering about things. Dear, therefore, my dear brothers, stand firm in whatever God has called you to do. Whatever ministry you're in that you want to quit, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord. Because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Amen. I shall not be moved. Now, if you don't have a ministry and you want to serve God, I suggest you get one. I know we can be selfish. Moses, I can't talk. Jeremiah, I'm too young. I know we can be selfish. And I know we can put off things. But if you want to be a true servant of God, you've got to serve others. You've got to look around for something to do. You've got to say, part of my coming to church is not just not coming. That's not what God likes. He loves you coming. But if you just come and leave, come and leave, come and leave without coming and worshiping and coming and serving, it's not the same thing. You can say hallelujah, thank you Jesus all day long. But if you're not helping somebody, it's not the same thing. And I know, I know it feels good. I'm ready to go home this afternoon, take my shoes off, I'm watch the Super Bowl, I'm going to shop. <laughs> Nobody better not call me. <laughs> <laughs> now, how many of us selfish like that? Would Jesus do that if someone called him? He would look around for something to do. And then there was nothing to do. He may take his shoes off and take a break. That's what serving God is all about. And I guarantee you'll be a better person. And this is what will happen at the end of your life. You can say this as Paul said. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the course. I have kept the faith. And then the Bible says, you hear these words. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Listen to those words. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Because you have served me. Now I'm going to serve you. That's what God wants us to do. And, and, and that's what we need to do individually. This is not a group task. This is an individual task. You need to look around. I need to look around for things that I can do to serve those inside the body. Those within the body that, that God has placed me in. I need to look around. If I'm not on something, I need to get on something. If I'm not doing something, I need to do something. If, if, if there's nothing organized, I need to organize something. Whatever your gift is, you need to put it to operation. Well, the only thing I can do is, is, is I can just make candles and start a candle ministry. <laughs> and give to people who may not have light sometimes. You've got to do something because that's how you really serve God, by serving others. It's a caution. You can read that for yourself. There is some caution there. There is some caution. You never do it to get attention. You never do it to get attention. You never do it to get recognition. You will be recognized, and that's why you don't do it for that. Let us pray.